Expectations. Expectations for this football team that now has Deshaun Watson for a full year. But how do we view or look at the head coach, Kevin Stefanski? I know there's a lot of rumors and reports out there that his seat could be getting warm and warmer as the season goes along if the Cleveland Browns aren't playing to what some may say a playoff type level. Well, you know, it's difficult to say. I mean, the owner of the football team stopped very short of putting any kind of an ultimatum on Kevin Stefanski. He's not drawing the line in, in the sand and saying, if such and such doesn't happen, these guys are gone. There isn't anything like that right now. So I think, you know, for the most part, no one's trying to speak anything like that into existence. There is a, a strong vibe that he is the right man for the job and that, you know, it's a lot easier to coach well when you have an elite quarterback like Deshaun Watson. So if he can get Deshaun Watson playing like the Deshaun Watson of old, then his job will be uh, perfectly safe because they'll be winning a lot of football games. So that's the key. They've got to go out there and, they win, and they've got to win games. They cannot have a third losing season. The bar is set at the playoffs for sure. Uh, there's there's no question about that. That's everyone knows that you know you don't go out and spend three first round picks and two hundred and thirty million dollar guaranteed on your quarterback and not expect to make the playoffs. So they do expect to make the playoffs. They have the Super Bowl as their goal, and uh, and you know I don't know if Kevin's job depends on making the playoffs or not. I think we have to see how it all plays out. You mentioned a name a little bit earlier, Zadarius Smith, on that defense. I thought that was a defense last year in Cleveland that people didn't really talk enough about in terms of they really let the team down a little bit. There were a lot of games where they were in, even when Jacoby Brissett was at quarterback, and the defense didn't hold up their end of the bargain. They're much improved with some of those additions, whether it's guys coming back from injury or even the addition of Zadarius Smith. What do you see so far from this Cleveland Browns defense? Well, you know, just with Jim Schwartz alone, you can see that they're going to be much more aggressive up front. It will be a much more attack-minded defense. I already also see the defensive backs playing much more aggressively, really going after the ball, uh, attacking it. So it's just that's sort of the buzzword. They're just attacking from all over the place. And, again, I just talked to Zadarius Smith, and, and he talked about how they do have to establish that you know, that tough-minded mentality. When you think of AFC North defenses, he played for the Ravens uh, back when they had, you know, Terrell Suggs and and those guys. And he knows what it's like to play tough, hard-nosed AFC North football. We know what the Pittsburgh Steelers defense is always like. So that's what the Browns are aiming for, to play the kind of Cleveland Browns defense that their fans can be proud of, uh, that the AFC North has to fear. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku Channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 